we are now looking here at uh, just introducing the uh, the cosine law and of course with when you're dealing with the cosine law you're dealing with uh, any triangle right that that and none of the angles are actually equal to 90 degrees so if right if the angle is equal to a 90 degree angle pretty much you can use Pythagorean theorem to find sides uh, and you can find use uh, cosine um, ratio you can use tangent ratio or you can use sine ratio um, so pretty much what we're looking at is you'll be using really so ka Toa. And if you don't know what Sokotoa is, pretty much we're looking at sine ratio, right? Sine ratio, S O H, uh, opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, cosine ratio, adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent ratio, opposite over adjacent. So if you have a 90 degree angle, you have a right angle triangle, this is what you're going to use. Right? either Sokotoa to solve it. But if none of the angles are 90 degree angle, you may be using the cosine law if you're not using the sine law. So let's look at what the cosine law is. So here is the equation for the cosine law. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared subtracted by 2AB cosine C. So right now, pretty much, uh, what you've got according to this equation and really it doesn't matter what letters you use I like to use a B and C um, so what we've got here uh, as we've said in uh, the sine law and whenever you're labeling a triangle always label the vertex with capital letters uh, you, so you take the vertex with the capital letter you look opposite to it that is the side length of that angle. So we have here angle B, across from B is side length B. Across from C is side length C. And I'm gonna use here cursive lowercase c just to distinguish it. Now, using this equation, what we're saying according to this is this is the one that we're trying to find according to this equation. Again, rearrange this equation, right? Let's say you're trying to find your B value, right? All you got to do is just put in B in your unknown here instead of C and put the other side lengths, right? A squared minus C squared subtracted by 2. Notice this AB. This AB is equal to those ABs, right? So whatever these two letter values are, are going to be the two letters of your cosine law. And this cosine C, notice it, this, we're trying to find, we have, we should have the angle of C, but we're trying to find the side length. So whatever side length that we're trying to find here, we must be given its angle in order to be able to use the cosine law. So anyhow, let's look at um, the one we've got. Right. So again, the same thing. Actually, let me just uh, rewrite this. Let's say we were trying to find a value. Right. A squared is our unknown side. Right. So which means we're given B, we're given C, and we're subtracting by two and whatever these two are, which are B and C. And which cosine uh, angle are we trying to find? Well, it's going to be that of the unknown side, which is going to be capital A. So notice here, lowercase a is what we're trying to find, but we should be given the angle A. Okay, so now we've got pretty much three variations of the equation depending on what letter you're trying to find. But again, get comfortable with labeling your um, your triangle. But anyhow, let's go to, uh, to this. So let's get rid of all of this that we've got here and use the one that um, that we've been given here. So, in this equation, we should be given this side length, right? We should be given this side length, and we should be given an angle. The angle that we're given, should be given, is the angle relative to the side length that is unknown, okay? So, what we need is 
two sides and an angle, but that angle must be the angle of the unknown side to use this cosine law. Now, when, the next step, all you have to do is really substitute the numbers into this equation. My advice to you, though, is learn to use the brackets in your calculator. Uh, in a future video, I'm going to go through uh, how to input these numbers into your calculator um, to help simplify the matter. Uh, my advice to you, learn to use the brackets in your calculator. Learn how to use um, bed, the, how to force your calculator to use bed mass. Um, so if you know how to use your calculator well, you'll be able to solve it. But remember, once you find this value, let me just delete some of this stuff. Remember that once you find this value, this value is really going to be equal to c squared. You're going to want to isolate for c. So what you're going to do is square root whatever that value is going to be in order to get what your c value happens to be. Now, um, there's another variation of this equation. And this is what happens if, what happens if you've got your triangle and you're given all the side. So what we're going to do, we're going to erase some of this. Um, connect that. All right. Let's say you're given all three sides. Right. So if you're given all three sides, but none of the angles, right? None of the angles. We're now going to panic, right? We're thinking, oh my goodness, well, uh -huh. if I've if I've got this, I've got this, and I've got this, which means I've got these. What happens if I don't have that angle? But it doesn't really matter because what you're going to do is you're going to rearrange this equation as follows. So what you're going to do is, and I just marked it up and I shouldn't have. What we're going to do is the following. We are going to move this here, this value, this whole thing here, and move this whole value of, uh, let me just use a different color here. We're gonna move this whole value of that, this whole minus two AB cosine C. We're gonna move this to this side of the equal sign. So when you move something across the equal sign, you always do the opposite, right? So it's negative 2AB cosine C. When we move this whole big term over, it becomes a positive 2AB cosine C is going to equal to, and then we're going to do another step uh, kind of at the same time. We're going to move this C squared over to this side of the equal sign, and we're going to be we're going to be left with a squared plus b squared. Right? That hasn't changed, but we've moved the c squared over, and it becomes negative uh, c squared. Now, so what happens here? Well, we want to find cosine c. So to do that, we have to divide this side by the value that is in front of cosine c, which is two ab. So we put 2AB, we divide this side by 2AB, 2ABs divide out, leaving us with just C squared. But what we do to one side in math, we must do to the other side in math. So we divide both sides by 2AB, and we're left with cosine C equals A squared plus B squared subtracted by c squared over 2ab. So here all of a sudden now we've got a new variation of this equation right here. And this is the equation you use if you've got all three sides but you're not given your angle and that's one of the ones that you're trying to find. Now how to find the other variations of this? Well let's say you have to find cosine b, right? Look at this. We've got cosine c, which means we're given a and b. So if I've got cosine b, I should be given a and c. 
look at this. I'm subtracting by C squared. I'm subtracting by the side length that is opposite to angle C, which means opposite to angle B is going to be subtracted by B squared, which means here at the bottom, 2AB, which means it's the two that are adding together, right? The two that I'm adding together is what's going to be my rearranging of the equation. And let's say I'm asked to find uh, cosine C. So let me, uh, sorry, cosine A, right? I'm trying to find cosine A, right? So which means what are my two given sides? I am given B and I'm given C. So I'm adding those two, right? And they're being squared. I'm going to subtract it by the side length of the angle that I'm trying to find, which is A squared and I'm dividing it by the two that I'm adding it, but it's 2BC. So all of a sudden, I've been able to find, now I can use this to find all three angles if I'm given all three sides. So in one of the future videos, we are actually gonna go through actual problem solving. But remember, when doing all this, again, learn to use your calculator to put all this into your calculator, to do it all in one big long step, and then in the end, you got to find the inverse of cosine when trying to find the actual angles.